Hey friends, Melinda here. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I post weekly workouts so that you can stay strong, fit, and fierce with me each and every week. If you're new here, make sure that you consider subscribing. Welcome to part two of our travel friendly mini band series. Last week we focused on our upper body and today we're gonna focus on sculpting out through the buns and the thighs. I did purchase my loops on Amazon. I'll provide a link for you guys below to check them out. Also remember that you can combine these series together for a full total body burn. If you get an amazing burn with me today, I want you to smash that like button below and show me some love. Now let's get ready to hit out those buns and thighs. I'll start your warm up with windmills. So reach those arms into a beautiful T and we'll start to go into that diagonal reach into your windmill position. Press, nice elongated diagonal here. Zipper up the core. So you're using your core to lift you back up. You can always take a slight bend through your knees. So if you have really tight hamstrings, maybe take that slight bend here. Press really stretching through the back of those legs. Scoop the belly in. Give me one last one right here. Reach it. Come back up. You're going to grab a heavy resistance or do what works best for you. You're going to take that heavy resistance and place it very low. So it's going very low on your ankles from here. Stepping into a side lateral squat. So it's a side to side step. Make sure that you're going very deep in your plie. It's parallel legs. So that means that your shins, your toes should be facing forward. Your knees should be facing forward. Don't allow your knees to torque inward. Keep them in alignment with the front of the foot here. Press out as big as you can go. Push, press, giant step. Stay very low to work through that lower body this entire time. Side to side step. Keep your core active as well. Out and in, reach. Now I'm going to readjust that band a little bit lower on those ankles for the next exercise. We've got a curtsy, press. Curtsy low, press. Stay low, press. Reach, press. Curtsy it low, press, out, stay very low, breathe, out, push. Can you tap down into the ground? Push, reach, push it away, out. Remember, you're staying low in that curtsy. Wide legs, out, reach it low, stay nice and low, core is tight, working through those buns, working through those thighs, one more right here, push, press, now we're going to back tap, again you need to just readjust that band from here, back tap, push it away, out and in, reach, Push it back. Scoop the belly in so you're at a slight 45 degree angle with that body. Press out. Big step to the back, alternating back taps. Press, push away. Full range of motion. I'm actually extending that leg all the way to the back. I'm sitting low in that squat position. Press. Drop the shoulders down, release the tension, press, back tap, out, breathe, push it away, keep it moving, last one from there, I'm going to step to the back, four diagonal steps, stay low, diagonal, press, now stay low, back, Big giant step, push and push again. Four, three, two, those glutes should be on fire. Back tap diagonal. Make sure you're not going into a diagonal step and not just straight, diagonal, diagonal. Push, push. Now get a little bit deeper, a little bit longer. Challenge yourself. 
really move with it. Push. Out for four. Stay low, don't come up. Stay low. Can you get a little bit lower? A little bit deeper. Push. Reach, last one. Moving on from here, I'm going to shimmy that band up around the thighs from here and go right along into our three leg lift here. So three leg pulse. One, two, three, transition. One, two, three, transition. Three leg lift. Transition. Pulse. Two, three. Pulse. Up. Pulse. Really starting to fire up here. Pulse. Two, three. Three leg pulse. One. Up. Up. Transition. Lift. 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 Transition. Ooh, I can barely lift that leg. Transition. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ooh, breathe. Press. One, two, three. Leg is dropping. Let's get it up. Three, two, one. Release. Now from here, we've got a wide squat. Wide squat, take it down for two. Squeeze the gluteal to the top. Down. Squeeze and press. So really get low. Now take a little glute thrust at the top. Down. Squeeze. So down for two. Lift for two. Down, open those knees. Nice and wide here. Down. Squeeze and press. Take it down. Lift up. Make sure the knees are not pulling inward. Really take those knees forward into alignment with the second to third toe. Remember, give me this little thrust. Squeeze those gluteals to the top. Now let's hold it and pulse. Knees open out. Pulse. Stay low, scoop belly in. Nice idle, isolated contraction. Push those knees out, resist it for four and three. Two, last one, hold, isolate the hold, pull those knees out for four, three, two, last one, and lift. All right, guys, so I've got the resistance right above those knees, moving into quadruped. So we go into fire hydrant, donkey kickback. Fire hydrant, and then into the donkey kickback. So make sure that there's a little isolated hold here. So a little isolation at the top, range of motion. If you need to, if you have any wrist injuries, you could always take this down into one forearm or maybe both forearms if necessary. I've got the heavy resistance on. If you need to modify into medium resistance, absolutely fine. Or if you need to go into extra heavy, if you're not feeling it, absolutely go into that extra resistance. Press. One more here. Out. Now we transition immediately to that opposite side. Hydrant. Donkey kick back. Make sure that you move into your hydrant position, that your shin is parallel to the earth below you. Push the ground away. Zipper up your core. You have a nice long gaze here. Don't hang the head. Out to the side, donkey kick. That booty should really start to fire up here. Breathe. As if it wasn't fired up already. And press. Don't arch your back. Scoop the belly in here. Press. Get back. Nice, strong, stable tabletop position. One more round right here. Moving right along into a sideline position. So again, we're gonna keep that band where it is, flex through your feet, and then we'll take a side lateral lift from here. Begin to lift the leg, contract it. So I want you to feel a hold at the top, press. Hold and press. Lift. So notice that I'm staying within that working range of motion. I'm not coming all the way down. So I'm staying within that challenge region where you're really challenging and firing up the thighs and booty. Booty's getting a lot of work here. 
sexy lower body. And press, flex your feet for me. Really strong flexion. Lift up and out, don't sink in your torso. Lift, press, lift. This is your last exercise. Make it count right here. And remember guys, you can add on the upper body section that we did last week for a total body burn. Let's hold it, pulse it. Finishing exercise, breathe through it. Fight through the fatigue, keep it moving. Right here, we've got the opposite side to do. Right away, we swap it around, we come up and around, we flex those feet, and we go into that side. Lateral raise right here, take it up and take it down. Lift, remember, hover the leg so that you stay in that resistance zone. Challenging through that resistance, that heavy resistance, up and down press. Lift, keep your thigh bones parallel, so facing towards the front here. Press, use this palm as leverage to help you lift up and out through your torso, flex through your heel like you're dragging energy through that heel. Breathe. You've got it. Keep it going. It's our last exercise. You can do this. Lift and lower. Up and down. Press. Last one. Let's pulse it to finish. Here we go. The finish line is upon us. Keep it moving. Keep it flowing. You've got it. Press it up. For four, three, two, last one. Let's hug your knees in, shimmy off that stretch band here, and give yourself some love. Breathe, excellent work guys. Let's take a figure four stretch right here. Figure four stretch, open up, thigh outward, flex through your toe tips. Breathe into that stretch. If you need to, hold this stretch a little bit longer for four, Three, two, open it out to the opposite side, flex through the foot. Ooh, that side is much tighter. Hold it here, breathe, pull the leg in, push your elbow into that inner thigh, hold the stretch, breathe it in, pull it a little bit closer for four, three, two, last one. Again, give yourself a little bit more love, hug, maybe sway side to side. Beautiful work, guys. I will see you on the next workout.